I know that in painting birds, it's nice to have the eye. The eyes are, well, we say that the eyes are the windows to the soul. Not sure whether they're the, what they're the windows to in birds, but there's something about the eyes and the contact that one can make through them. But sometimes, sometimes, you just don't want to be seen. And so I found this reference shot of a pigeon that is just not feeling the attention. So I s sketched in pencil an arches paper. I used cobalt violet for the legs. Now I'm using blue appetite Genuine by Daniel Smith for a base graying of this body and wing. And now it's a fun part. I'm going to do some blue, some cobalt blue. Adding it wet on wet. And some more gray here. And by gray I mean that appetite color. And some ultramarine blue. Again, I'm not really going for realism here, so I am looking regularly at the reference shot to have some idea. Remind me of what I want here, but I'm kind of going where the colors take me. Go back to the ultramarine. And I'm going to turn the paper here so as to facilitate what I want. And I'm now dipping into some Daniel Smith. Quinacridone burnt orange. Just to do something a little different. I don't want it to appear just here, so I'm going to put some under the tail, a little bit on the feet. And as you can see, this pigeon is just not feeling the crowds and hiding his head and eyes beneath his capacious wings. I'm going to let this dry. So this is a somewhat strange viewpoint, and yet I found it so compelling but I hope I can convey some of that. Going over the legs just with some alizarin crimson. And now with a mixture of, well, mostly cobalt blue, but it's grayed out with some browns that I had on my palette. I'm going to try and give some dimension here. And this is ultramarine blue. And I'm 
gonna put a little cobalt violet up here. And again, that grayed out mixture for this first part of the wings. I'm sure there's names for the different bits of the bird wings and one of these days I'll learn them. It would be useful to be able to call them by their name. But I'm not going for super precision here, more the suggestion. I admire those who do scientific illustration and detailed and exact paintings. I enjoy those very much. It's just not my style for a number of reasons. Many of them having to do with the fact that I came to art late and and I have a full-time job doing something else. So I prefer a style for myself that is compatible with the fact that I don't have an art training and that my time to dedicate to art is limited. I'm going to go back here with some alizarin. And now, I'll go back once more with cobalt. I'm going to let this dry. I didn't know how this strange bird would turn out, but in fact I quite like it. One last, two last things I want to do. One is a little bit more definition, some of the wings, and I'm doing that with the Blue Appetite Genuine. I like how the light hits the back and this area is lighter. And then one last thing I wanted to do is a little bit of spatter. And I'm going to use a blue appetite for that. All right, I usually use my hand. 
but I'm going to do it the right way, which is with another brush. I think for birds in motion, a little bit of splatter. It's kind of nice. It helps give a sense of movement and feathers or bits of feathers that might be spattering. And I am going to call this done. The shy bird. <laughs>